Good evening. North Carolina Prepper here. I want to talk about a subject that isn't often talked about. This subject is uh, disasters and what to do with dead or the dead bodies. Um, it's going to be a harsh subject. It's going to be a quick subject, but it's going to be harsh. I was doing some reading on the old message boards about the Katrina incident. And um, after some thought, I realized that, you know, most people don't really have a plan or an idea what to do if they've lost a family member. Now, I'm not talking about bad guys. I'm talking about somebody you care about, like a family member. Let's assume that for a few days, you know, you would not be able to take some or have someone pick up the bodies and take them to a corner. Um, what are your plans? Do you, do you try to go ahead and just bury, the, bury them temporarily? But in a hot climate like North Carolina, with no power, things are going to go uh, bad rather quickly. Now, I've been reading a PDF on the subject. That was a study done during or some tsunami, I think. <clears throat> now, there's some hard facts in it that it's just a part of life. It's not a happy thing. But it's got some guidelines and recommendations from uh, casualties and events, you know, disasters. Um, <clears throat> basically, you don't really have to bury them as fast as you assume. And, and most of the dangers come from the stop and uh, sudden stop of sanitary drinking water and sewer systems. These methods combining with the problems creates, and the problems of you know having corpses around creates a problem. I'm gonna just go ahead and link it to you guys real quick in the description below. Um, if it if the link was working, just Google the PDF file. Um, I forgot who put it out, but it, it tells you how to deal with bodies from the uh, I think it's from the WHO. The World Health Organization did it. But go ahead and take a look at it, and I hope this is of no use to anybody because they'll never, ever, ever need to use it. But the sad thing is people die, and people die in tragic events. And in mass tragic events like hurricanes and stuff, there might not be help available right away. And what are you going to do? So I'll just put the link, and you guys can make your own decisions. Um, this is North Carolina Prepper. I just want to press that information on you. And I hope it will be completely useless and nobody will ever, ever have to use it. Alright, thank you. Please try to have a nice day.